Cloud projects are a real time saver. I'm going to explain exactly how you can build a cloud project and I'm going to show you how I'm using cloud projects to save a lot of time in my content business. Let's dive in. You can use the AI models in cloud for free. But if you want to get access to the latest AI and if you want to build your own project inside of cloud, you'll need to take out a pro subscription. That's what I took out and it cost me about $20 per month. And you get access to Cloud Tree, Opus and Haiku. Now in comparison, you can take out a premium subscription to ChatGPT, which also costs $20 per month. Now the key difference is the outputs are a bit better from Claude, at least for text and written content. However, with ChatGPT, you can create a ChatGPT bot and you can share that with other users. When you create a project inside of Claude, it's not possible to share it with external users unless they're part of your team and you've added them to your subscription. So that's something to bear in mind. If you're unfamiliar with the concept, a cloud project is pretty much the same as a chat GPT bot. Basically, it's a way of providing context for your chats with cloud. And you'll do this with your prompt and also with some sample data, for example, documents, text, code, and other files that you're going to upload. And then the idea is that you'll use your cloud project repeatedly without having to continually craft the same prompts. So in other words, build a project once and you can save a lot of time getting outputs that you can use for your business. And I actually use cloud projects for various content creation activities that I spend time on every week. I really like the user interface inside of cloud. Here's how you can set up a project. So head over to the left hand sidebar and simply click on projects. And you'll see a little button that says create project. Once you've clicked on the button, you're going to give your project a name. So I'm going to call this social media hook generator. So I'm going to use this project to create first lines for my social media posts. Then you're going to write in a brief description of what it is you're trying to achieve. Now this doesn't have any difference on the outputs. This isn't the prompt that Claude is going to use. It's simply for you to reference exactly what your Claude project is going to do. Now when you're ready, just simply click create project and you can start to input your prompt and your training data. Once you're inside your project, look to the right hand sidebar and then click on set custom instructions. Now here you're going to describe what you want this Claude project to do. Basically, this is where you're going to write or paste your prompt that you've written elsewhere. And if you have some training data on your computer or on your device, just simply click on add content and you can add some text content that you've written. So you can copy and paste it or you can upload it directly from your computer. Some other settings that you may want to look at include the details section. Now to show you how this works, I'm going to paste in an email that I wrote some time ago. So this email is all about how to set your rates as a freelancer and it doesn't have any headline. So I'm just going to simply paste this in. I'm going to stick with Claude 3.5 Sonnet because I find the outputs here are quite good compared to uh, some of the other models. Um, I can of course upload the file from my computer if I don't want to copy and paste it. Then I'm going to press return and Claude will generate me 25 different viral friendly headlines that I could use if I want to repurpose this email as an article on Medium or Substack or elsewhere on social media. And why I like Cloud Projects is at any point I can actually go back into the project and I can see all of the different prompts that relate to this project at any time. Whereas when you're in ChatGPT, you have to go through individual chats uh, basically to find your, your inputs and your outputs. If I like the outputs from Cloud, I can simply copy them to my clipboard or and then paste them into my writing app or I can ask Claude to retry, or I can basically reprompt it manually. If you find yourself creating a lot of different cloud projects, there is an option to start them. And once you do this, you can quickly access your start projects on the left hand sidebar. So if you're going to create a cloud project or a chat GPT bot, two things are important. First is the art of writing a good prompt, that is prompt engineering. And I'm going to give you some resources in a moment that will help you do just that. And second is your training data. If you're unsure what type of cloud projects to build, or to create or to write, I'd recommend heading over to docs.anthropic.com. And basically they have a prompt library and this might give you a little bit of inspiration. So I headed over here and I typed in a story and I came across this interesting prompt, storytelling sidekick. If you click on any of these prompts, it will give you a description of what the prompt does. It'll give you the exact prompt and a sample output. Now I did find that some of these prompts were quite short. So I would write longer prompts than this where I would describe in detail exactly what I want the cloud project to do and also reference some of the sample outputs, but it is a good source of inspiration. Another option is to head over to promptperfect.ai uh, and this will help you auto-tune your prompts. So I have a prompt here from another cloud project. 
So this particular prompt helps me write concise social media posts. And if I paste this into Prompt Generator, it'll refine the prompts and also show me some sample outputs from ChatGPT and from some other AI tools. And this may help you iterate your prompt as well. The other part to your cloud project is of course the training data that you're gonna upload. And you can of course upload this uh, from your computer. So I have a library of thousands of notes and I'll explain how I use that in a moment. Or you can just simply add some text content that you've written in a writing app. Basically put your sample outputs and other relevant information that the AI tool should reference. Now I've taken notes for years, notes about all of the types of content that I write. The notes on my computer uh, contain headlines, subject lines, copywriting hooks, viral friendly social media posts, emails, all kinds of writing projects that I've worked on for myself, for my business and for clients. And I haven't locked any of my notes into a proprietary app like Apple Notes, for example. These are all basically files that sit on my computer and I can upload any of these into Claude for a project and you can use them to train Claude or to train AI to write like I do, or to reference writing samples that I found elsewhere online. Um, now, if you don't have thousands of notes, don't worry. I would actually just recommend building a small library on your computer of ideal writing samples and ideal outputs and then you can use this as training data for your cloud project. So I've created a couple of different cloud projects following this exact process. I've created one that helps me write social media posts, one that helps me write viral friendly headlines, and one that helps me repurpose content that I've already written. Let me explain how this works. So I run a daily newsletter over at briancollins.com and I talk about topics like writing online, finding clients and getting paid in the creator economy. Now, typically I send out a daily email that's somewhere between four and 700 words long. And I like to repurpose this content so I can use it on LinkedIn and also elsewhere on social media. Now, obviously repurposing can turn into quite the job. So I built a cloud project to do or to save me time repurposing content. Basically, I wrote a thousand word plus prompt that I pasted into Claude, which helps me repurpose my newsletter content for social media and elsewhere. And I also uploaded some training documents into Claude. So it only filled up 5% of the knowledge size. And it's, each one of these was actually several thousand words in length. So it does show you how much you can actually upload to Claude to train it. I've pasted in the email into Claude and now it's analyzed my email and it's come up with some subject lines based on some training data that I uploaded into the project. It's identified key themes in my email that I could expand upon. So it's kind of like a writing or editorial assistant. It's also identified big ideas, analogies, and metaphors that I can call out. Basically visual ideas that I can put into the email if I wanted to make it more memorable. It's also identified as some writing and clarity improvements that I may need to make in this email, kind of like a grammar checker. And then it's proposed some related emails that I can potentially write. It has the viral friendly headlines that I talked about a few moments ago, and it has some short form social media posts based on the content inside of this email. And finally, you may remember to start the video where I was talking about hooks for social media. That is the first line which captures the attention of followers and subscribers. Well, it's proposed 10 different hooks I could use if I wanted to turn this email into content for LinkedIn or elsewhere online. Now, the way I built this particular project was by considering all of the different things that I like to do every day, write a daily email, write on LinkedIn and repurpose content. And I started by building individual projects and chat GPT bots for those workflows. And once I had a workflow that I was happy with, I combined all of my prompts into a mega prompt. I iterated that mega prompt and I built this cloud project. And I found this approach to prompt engineering, that is customizing a cloud project for how I like to work, uh, is a re real time saver. Now I replicated my cloud project inside of ChatGPT to compare the two. Pretty easy to do. I headed over to ChatGPT. I have a premium subscription. I clicked on my GPTs. And basically I uploaded the same thousand plus word prompt, the same series of files or training data and gave it a similar description. And I pretty much used the same name, the same description, the same thousand plus word prompt and the same training data. And I found that the outputs from my email analyzer project versus my chat GPT bot were better in Claude. And it was also a little bit more user friendly because I could access all of my prompts that related, or should I say, all of my uh, chats that relate to this project directly inside of the project. Whereas with ChatGPT, I actually had to scroll through the left-hand sidebar and look for them. 
However, it is possible to share custom GPTs uh, with external users. Uh, from ChatGPT, whereas right now the only way you can share a cloud project is by giving a team member access and that means adding them to your subscription. That's an overview of how I built my cloud projects. As you can see, it's saving me time repurposing content, coming up with content ideas, and also working on projects for my business and for clients. If you've got questions about setting up a cloud project or using it for your business, let me know in the comment section below this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want more videos.